Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Thanks so much for tuning in to the Wealthy, Healthy, Happy Show. I am your host, ERGJ, your certified financial educator, and we are in the building. You know, this is where we come. This is where we come to get motivated, get inspired, get our day started. And we are a, a group that are, of growing people. And what we're saying is we dare you to grow. So we're currently going through the uh, book, The 15 Laws of Invaluable Growth by John C. Maxwell. And uh, we're into law number three. So this is the week that we go through law number three is the law of the mirror. So we have gone through law number one was the law of intentionality. It's basically just saying, you know, you want to know where you want to go. You need to be intentional about where you want to go. When we went to the law of awareness, becoming aware of ourselves and our surroundings and know that we are connected to. And uh, we're now in the law of the mirror. And that is basically looking at yourself in the mirror. And what do you see? Uh, for many people, they don't have a positive self-image. They don't have, they walk around it with low self-esteem. And so what we've been doing, we are working on pinpointing some things that we can do to build our self-image. If we happen to be that person that has low self-esteem, we don't have the right self-image because how we see ourselves ultimately um, has to do with a lot with what we attract to ourselves, right? So if we want greater, bigger things to come to us, then we need to become greater, bigger people. And that's just what it is. So it's the law of the mirror. And we're currently in the 10 steps to building your self-image, the 10 steps to building your self-image. And so uh, we started uh, with talking about you want to guard your self-talk. That was step number one. You want to guard your self-talk. That was step number one. Uh, step number two, you want to stop complaining. No, I'm sorry. Stop comparing yourself to others. Stop comparing yourself uh, to others. Uh, number three, you want to move beyond your limiting beliefs. Move beyond your limiting beliefs. Uh, number four, uh, basically, you want to add value to others. You want to add value to others. The more value that you add to others, the more value you will receive. And then you want to do the right thing, even if it's a hard thing. That's where we left off yesterday. You want to do the right thing, even if it's the hard thing. Always choose to do the right thing, because ultimately, karma comes back to you. Ultimately, the thing, the good things that you do, you have good things happen to you. Mr. Beatles in the building. How are you today, sir? What's going on? Good morning or good evening or good night, depending on when you're listening to this and who you are and where you and what you're doing. This is Mr. Beatles, Mr. Wealthy, Healthy, Happy, your uh, big business developer and uh, financial planner. What's happening today? Man, we're doing all right, man. We got we got some little slow motion today. I said, what's going on? <laughs> no, I got it. I got it, man. I was up till um, four, no, till 3.30 this morning. I got an hour of sleep, then got back up at 4.30. Um but it's been a uh, inspired uh, situation going on. You're not tired. You're inspired. Well, yeah. I'm inspired these days, man. Hey, I know that's right, man. man. Not tired. Mm -hmm. you are inspired. You're, not, you're not tired. You're uninspired. But you are inspired today. And fantastic. You've been getting some work done. You've been burning the midnight oil and making some things happen. I saw oh, you man, had some man. things going on with a, uh, a, a purpose party or something. I said, oh, look at that. What they got going on there? Hey man, it's jumping, man. You know, this uh the the purpose party is um is bringing the um is bringing my old community back together um for the purpose of having some fun and networking all in the same time. Okay, fantastic, man. I saw I saw I said, look at this. Yeah, it's, it's a special place to go. Might need to be in the building. Hey, <laughs> hey, you might not want to miss that one, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool, man. Well, we're still going through the uh, 15 laws of valuable growth, man. We pick up where we left off yesterday. And uh, quite frankly, we might be able to get through uh, our, our 10 steps today. And so we're picking up at step number six, man, which is you want to practice a small discipline daily in a specific area of your life. And, and this is this, this is pretty simple, guys. You know, how do you how do you how do you eat an ele elephant one bite at a time? So there may be some things in your life that you consider to be overwhelming, so to speak. You look at that big definite purpose that you have. You look at this goal or this task that you need to accomplish. It might seem a little overwhelming, but the way that you actually overcome that is you want to practice some small disciplines. You want to take it one bite at a time, one chunk at a time, one day at a time, and start to take on this task that you have, man. So practicing a small discipline daily in a specific area of life will help you actually to overcome or to complete that which it is that you need to do. Mr. Beatles. It's the small things that matter. It's the small things that matter most. The small things is, um, is what gives us the, the momentum uh, to take that next step, right? In order for you to uh, reach your thousand mile journey, it starts with the first step. And you got to take the first step and then the next step and then that sequential step. And it is the process of progressively realizing your worthy ideal, which again, it just makes so much sense and um, and then the more that we think through what the progressive realization of the worthy ideal is, 
and how do we apply it to that light to our lives we start realizing that it literally is making the small steps moving forward consistently on a daily basis towards your worthy ideal um so that may mean that you need to read your book every single day you need to be writing in your journal every day you need to be speaking and writing your vision down every single day and making it clear uh i was listening to a uh, a piece that uh, a friend of mine shared with me and one of the big things that the uh that the that the gentleman was saying in the um in his poem is that you have to write your vision down daily and the reason why you write your vision down daily is because your mind needs to see it consistently and so when your mind can see it consistently when you can craft that picture and it's so vivid that you can actually see it that you can feel it you can touch it you can smell it you can taste it you start acting from that place and acting from that place manifests the um the success that you're desiring the small absolutely man. There, is, there is something powerful about uh the word consistency right um you know i, I know that there, you know i was studying for a test for for example and, and mm -hmm. it, it's one thing to try to get it all in in one day right but it's another thing to just take it bit by bit day after day and then eventually you actually complete that or finish studying for you know maybe it's a 30-day study plan that you put together but but it's important that you have a plan but it, it's very important that you have consistent action consistent action breeds success um this show for example it's got to be consistent right if we just show up one day and don't show up for four days and show up another day and then don't show up for three days like like that's that's not how you get it done the way that i've seen things work for people in their life is that they decide to do some consistent action deliberately consistent action deliberately so if you're going to work out and you're going to work out an hour a day hey make it an hour a day but don't try to get in five hours one day and then no hours for four days that's just not how that's just not how it works that's not how you build that's not how you change it's not how you go in a different direction consistent action brings success so you got to ask yourself what small discipline and what, what area of my life am I want, do I want to change? Or what area of my life am I daring myself to grow? And then you got to say, what discipline am I willing to implement into my life consistently so that I can actually see that area of my life grow? It's practicing a small discipline daily. Oh, daily. Here's a good one. Here's a good one. All right. So um, so you guys know, um, and maybe some of you guys know, but um, one of my mentors is Abraham Hicks. You have to look Abraham Hicks up. She is absolutely amazing. Um, but Abraham Hicks, she talks about enjoying life and enjoying the small things in life. And uh, one of the big things that she always talks about is, is that you don't want to eat all your meals um, uh, for life in one setting. Right. You don't you don't want to eat all of your meals all at one time. You want to eat one meal after another, appreciating each one of those meals. Again, it's the enjoyment of the small things that matters most. Um, if you overeat, if you get everything that you want all at one time, if you do it all in one breath, you uh, you get what's called burnout. Um, you get what's called dis-ease in the body. Right. And so you want to eat these meals as they come and enjoy each step along the way. So just something to think about there, man. Enjoy the meals that you have. Eat them one um, one meal at a time. Take your time. Appreciate what you have. And it it works itself out. It absolutely does. It works itself out. So we're talking about building your self-image, the law of the mirror. What do you see? In the mirror and these are some steps that you can take uh, to change that to improve that or uh, or whatever it is that you need to do to start seeing yourself in the right light when you look in the mirror now number seven is you want to celebrate small victories you want to celebrate small victories and i i quite honestly i don't think that we do this enough right we, we may actually have something happen in our life and we it may consider we may consider it small right but we don't celebrate that achievement we don't celebrate uh, quite often, those little things that we do that have helped us get along through our day or through our life or through our journey. You want to celebrate small victories. Mr. Beatles. Oh, so I was uh, kind of alluding to this in uh, in the last statement that I made about um, eating one meal at a time and learning to appreciate that one meal, learning to appreciate the meals as they come and not um, and not wishing that they all come at one time. 
Um, and it's in the appreciation of the small victories, the small things. You know, you said that you would uh, you wrote down a few things um, for your task, things that needed to get done for the day. And um, there were three things that you needed to get done. You got two out of the three done. Appreciate the fact that you got the two out of three done. Know what you need to do for that third one. Prioritize that for maybe the first thing to do tomorrow. But know that you are progressively realizing your worthy ideal. And um, one of the things that you also have to keep in mind is that we'll never be able to get it all done and we're never going to get it all right. And so again, being able to move towards your goal every single day, appreciate what you have, love what you are doing. And as long as you are doing something, there's no reason to be upset with where <laughs> you currently are because you know, in your heart of hearts, you're moving in the right direction. And that's that, and that's the key, right? Success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal. And so each and every day as you end your day, if you can look back on your day and say, you know what? I made progress today. You used to celebrate before you go to bed. Uh, maybe you have a praise party by yourself. Maybe you had a glass of wine that you've been holding out on. I don't know what it is for you. But if each and every day before you go to bed, you ask yourself, did I make any progress today? Did I make progress towards my worthy ideal? And if you can say yes, then you should celebrate before you go to bed. You should yeah. jump on the bed if you have to. Whatever it is that you, you know, get back to being a kid. Hallelujah. A <laughs> get back to being a kid as it relates to your goals, man. You used to have fun. You used to do things for yourself when you when you knew you were doing a good job. Just remember back when you were a kid and you got a hundred on that test. Mm. Right. Yeah. It felt good on the inside. Right. But so, yeah. for some reason, we as we get older, we become adults. We get away from that childlike behavior because we want to act civilized. Well, here's what I'm telling you. If you can look at the end of your day, you can say, yes, I made progress. Then guess what? You got 100 on your test. Hey, look, you should celebrate. That, I love, I love, <laughs> all right. So, all right, so um, so something just came to me. So I think one of the one of the one of the reasons why children get so excited about the progress that they make is because they have somebody they can share their progress with. Right. So when you get that, when the when the, when the child gets the 90, the 95, the 100, the um, the first place they won, uh, uh, I don't know, a Tootsie Roll in the um, in the spelling bee today. The reason why they're so excited about it is not because they won, but they also are getting ready to go home and they're going to share it with mom and dad who are going to be just excited as they are about their success. We need to find that place. This is the place, but I'm just saying we need to find that place where we can have some success and go back and share it. A lot of times our successes are so small and um, and or they're so big that um we but in, in in those in those victories we have nobody to share it with is basically what I'm saying. So you so you, you know what, Mr. Peter? Yeah, here's the deal, man. So we got let's do some shout outs because I want to see about the success of the people that are following us right now, man. We got Rolando E. Berry here with us. Uh my, my passion is being instrumental in physical mental development. You founder. Oh, we might need to talk. Drill master and mentor, man. Ronald Berry, man. Tell us about a success that you've had recently. Uh, share with us a small success that we can share in your victory, Robert. Yeah, man. Like uh, we need to be excited, man. Like yeah, the people no, no. need the people need uh they need a support group, man. We need a success yeah. support group. There's too many pity party groups that uh you can get attached to. But what about the you know just somebody just high fiving you, man, because you went out there and you did exactly what you were supposed to do yesterday, um, or you did a little bit of what you were supposed to do, and you just need a little encouragement. That's what this yeah. thing. So, so we got, hey, so Mr. B, we got Brittany Moore here, right? Yeah, Brittany, Brittany Lee. Now, I'm going to share with you a quick success for, with her because she reached out to me yesterday. She was like, hey, you know, let me know what you think about this this thing I'm about to invest in. It was like 20 bucks or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was like this, uh, you know, I think it's a seven-day course or something like that where this this successful woman is going to share with, with her um, or with her network uh, her successes and her failures. And I was like, you know what? That's a great investment, right? Yeah. 20 yeah. bucks. You get a chance to learn from someone what they've done and what they, you know, their success and their failure. That's that that is more. That's like double worth, you know, the investment. That's and so right. I'm pretty that's sure right. that Miss Brittany uh, went and got that thing, and she finished to go on a seven day journey towards her success. So it's 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 a great it's a small victory towards wherever she's going in life. And I was just super excited one because she reached out to me, right? She reached out to the network, right? right? And then I was able to confirm what she was already thinking anyway. 
Yeah. So not only was it a success for her, it was a success for me. Check. Double work. Double work. <laughs> Double work. And that's what the net, that's what this wealthy, healthy, happy network is about, man. It's the number one marketplace for growing people. Look at this. She says it's a great investor. You already downloaded the first course. So we want to know about your recent success. We want to know about your recent victory. So everybody that's here right now, Miss Mikhail, you just joined. Mr. Ronald Berry, you're here. Mr. Robert Lewis, I see you in the building. Patrick, up, I see you guys man. coming on. You got a phenomenal uh, mobile marketing success going on in Oklahoma. Let me go ahead and highlight that thing here. Pat. Hey. Yeah, Pat got something. Right, Mr. Up. Pat, in the building, we are celebrating your success. Beta, I know you got something going on. I need you to jump in the yeah. seat right now, Ms. Beta, and tell us about your quick success that you've been sharing with us. Hey, we would, you know what? If the rest of the show is talking about our success, that's what we're going to talk about. Talk about the win. <laughs> Let's talk about these wins, man. Hey, Mr. Pat, tell us about this thing you got going on, man. Mobile marketing success. I don't know if I'm going to be in Oklahoma, but I'm going to be there in spirit. Well, I, I know you will, <laughs> and I appreciate it. Um, I finally closed the, uh, the the dates with the air conditioning contractors of Oklahoma to uh, actually do presentations in these four different cities on different days. Uh, they're lunch meetings. Uh, they are open to the public, uh, but it's basically focused uh, on the air conditioning contractors to keep touch with their customers. And so I'm going to be teaching a texting platform uh, so they can keep contact with their customers more often. That's good. That's good. This, so you have a. This, this, this is a. This is the smart market guy, man. So don't, don't uh, drink out of the grumpy cup in the morning. <laughs> you you got to drink out of the I am phenomenal cup in the morning. That's, that's it. what I'm talking that's about. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Fantastic, man. Hey, so you know what, guys? You know how you you sharing the success, right? There's supposed to be a whole bunch of props going on right now. That's, what, that's how you sharing that success. There's supposed to be a whole bunch of props going on right exactly. now, people. <laughs> exactly. Ms. Brittany trying to come in and tell us about her success, man. So here's the deal, guy. We might spend the rest of this show talking about your success. But that's just what we're going to do. We're going to partner for your success today. Today. Brittany, I know you're trying to come in. we got to get this thing going. So, Patrick, man, I'm super excited. I'm super excited for you, brother. Oh, I, I know you've been putting it, you've been you've been putting in the leads, you've been putting in the work, you've been making the contacts, you got something that is that is finalizing that you can go out and do, and then hopefully it'll bring even more success to the things that you're doing. Yep. It, it's gonna be a neat program. The other thing I've done recently, uh, last week uh, I had gone down to a Ziegler conference and um, I signed up for a coaching sessions with Tom Ziegler, uh, Zig Ziegler's son. And yeah. we're doing teleconferences uh, Monday mornings over the next year. And he's got a new program called uh, Live to Win that follows his dad's old program of Born to Win. Oh. Okay, yeah, Born to Win. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's incredible. You're not trying to call in, Britt? Oh, man. Okay. He said, I'm actually not trying to call. Man, I was out. I, I had hit that green button twice. I was like, bam, <laughs> bam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jumping off. No, no. It's early in the morning for the ladies, and they haven't got their face on. You know. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. But that's okay, that guys. Is... So here's the deal: you can jump. You got an open seat. You can jump in the seat. You can share with us your success, man. I want. I, I want to. Hopefully, you're gonna help me Mr. get excited. Mr. Lewis is uh, halfway through his. Mr. Lewis is halfway through his ebook. Uh, let's see if he's gonna jump on. Let's let's go. Half it's go season, people. Morning. It's go season. It <laughs> is go season. Hey, so if you're gonna jump in the seat, jump into the seat. If uh maybe you can't jump into the seat, hey, share in the comments, man. We want to oh. we want to share in your success. I had some we're success. in a success support system. We got it going on right now. All right, so I had some success. I had some success. Right. I'm gonna talk about it. All right, so I um <clears throat> so I have um so I have this, uh, so I got this contract and I am working down on the, uh, I'm working on this, uh, I'm working on building out this call center. I'm very, very excited about it. Um, first, uh, first big opportunity, uh, to, uh, to affect some, some real change and see some real results, um, using my process and systems. So, um, one of the challenges that we're currently having down at this, um, at this particular center is, uh, people aren't communicating. People aren't talking to each other. They're not talking and exchanging ideas. And, uh, we have some deliverables that are consistently due to our clients 
every week um, by Friday. So um, although I'm now at uh, I'm at a different site for this entire week. So um, this being my second week at the center, I didn't want to spend another day. Uh, I didn't want to spend another week not actually contacting, you know, getting my group together. So um, so I put a conference call together, I sent out a few emails and uh, we they got all in the conference room yesterday. Um, and I said, look, this is the goal for this particular meeting. I want everybody to exchange um, just a quick two, three minute. This is what I do. This is what I need help with. So everybody went around the table and they kind of explained their project, what they did and what they actually needed help with, because everybody kind of has the same bucket of deliverables, but um, everybody was working in silos. So after we broke the wall of communication, now we have a consistent flow of communication, people started to understand how they could best support each other's project so that we didn't have to do overtime, so that people didn't have to uh, monitor calls late at night. And what ended up coming out of that was uh, a happy group of uh, leaders um, willing to willing and able to help each other. And we'll have all of our deliverables done um, on time by Friday. And so I was excited to say that, you know, getting people together, helping them to uh, clear the lines of communication so that they can effectively work together was a big win for me. Okay, so, come on, Vader. We waiting on you. Go ahead, Mr. Uh, Patrick. So your one word yesterday, Mr. Beatles, was facilitator. Yes. Facilitator. Yes, 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 yes. That's right. That's right. Yeah, man. So I uh, was able to facilitate and in facilitation, getting the people together. Absolutely, man. Well, I'm, I'm trying to wait because, you know, I got I got plenty of success to share with you guys. I'll share one thing, man. I did a coaching session yesterday. Um, and here's a wonderful thing, man. I normally charge I normally charge one hundred fifty dollars an hour to do my session. And after talking to um, my client, uh, I realized she didn't really necessarily need all the services that I provide. She really just needed somebody to talk to at the end of the day. Um, but uh, but in talking to her, what I was able to uncover, um, I was able to ex extract from her gold mine was I gave her some new ideas that she never thought about before. And so by the end of our conversation together, uh, her mind was on a whole nother level of thinking. And now she was starting to get to that point where she just had to get off the phone so she could write down her new vision. She had to get off the phone so she could go and do some research in this new direction that she was going. It was a lady that has 15 years in experience in um, social services, but she never thought about being a consultant. She never thought about leveraging her experience and her expertise to right. actually create her own thing. Her thought was, I'm going to go back to school and get some more certifications. And I was like, hey, you can go do that. That's fine. You're always looking to grow, but you've got enough expertise right now that people will pay you. So then I asked her, I said, well, hey, let me ask you this. If you were to, if you were to come to yourself and hire yourself, how much would you pay yourself? for your 15 years of experience in social services that you go and you've seen it all, you've seen the problems and you're able to actually fix the problems. How much would you pay yourself to make sure that your company was able to um, never miss an audit, never fail an audit again in, in, your, in your company's history? How much would you pay yourself? And she was like, hey, you know, they should get paid this and this, this amount. I said, well, now you need to create that value so that you can get paid this and this and this amount. So we always think sometimes we just think go back to school. That's our first idea. But when you can right. talk to someone that can help you get new ideas and now you can navigate the waters of life and you can have that much more success. And so at the end of the day, um, her mind was on a 15. It went from a level seven to a level 15. And now she was charged up and it's like a double, that like a double up. <laughs> so, so but what was, really, what was really great about it though mr beatles and, and everyone is here's what i did i said you know what this is our time together and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to send you my link and you're going to pay me what you think our time was worth you're going to pay me what you think our time was worth. i'm not going to tell you what i'm going to charge you you're going to pay me what you think our time is worth and she paid me last night so anyway that is a great success now what did i do um, I, I helped her and I inspired her to take her thoughts to another level. But then I also, I got a customer for life. That's what I did. So anyway, right, that's my success. That's, that's powerful. Huh? Give it up. <laughs> Give it up. Give it up for him right now. 
Oh. <laughs> So here's the deal, man. We are partnering in each other's success. We're the network of, we're the number one network of growing people. And we're asking you to share your success with us. Now, some people, they're being humble. You know, they don't want to tell everybody how awesome they are. Hey, you, you know, that's hard, but we, <laughs> right. they but we encourage it, you. Yes. Um, I, we encourage you to share your success with us. Yes. I pop that collar, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what what do you mean? Uh, the hook to motivate magic? Oh, magic like a magic show? No, 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 no. He's working on the hook to. Uh, to uh, he's he's working on incorporating magic. 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 Oh, magic as the hook to. Yeah, I think that's a beautiful idea. Um, Absolutely. There's this, there's this guy named Mister Magic that um, that is what he does. Um, he teaches. He's a motivational speaker, but he uses magic in order to do it, and. Um, I think, man, like magic is one of the most beautiful ways to capture the imagination because everybody okay. wants to know, how did he do that? And once you got so the, Mr. how Barry, did you do that? Uh, it's a wrap. Mr. Barry, so I don't know what you got going on, man, but I'm actually in the in the kid space. I'm a, a certified financial educator and we uh, we teach kids about money. So it may be interesting to see how we can collaborate with teaching, which with, with using magic and money as a theme for something. I don't know. I don't know. It just sounds like a good idea. You know, Imagine I don't know. Money. Make a dollar disappear because we know how to make a dollar disappear. <laughs> let's, see. <laughs> let's see if we can make that thing reappear. <laughs> magic. Let's see if you can make that magic and that money multiply. <laughs> so I love magic. to connect with you, Mr. Barry. I don't know where you are, um, but there may be some, uh, some, 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 some collaboration that we're able to do. Magic money. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. See this? See, this is what the network is about, my people. <laughs> the money that uh, multiplies. That's the tag. <laughs> the, that's the tag right there. Magic money. The money that multiplies. Absolutely. Look at that. We already got a thing. So what's, right, uh, what's the outline? What's the outline? Nikhil, the Nikhil uh, I don't hear you sharing your uh, success. Do I got to call you out? Because we got an appointment on Friday night. We got our we got our money date. I gotta call you out. You're not speaking to us this morning. Hey, Mr. hey, Mr. Beast, let's do some shout outs real quick, man, before we let the people go. All right, yeah, shout yeah. out, shout out, shout out. The time now is 727. We got Miss Britt in the building. She is on the train, but she is with us in spirit. And guess what she did? She finished the first draft of her uh, uh grant application. And uh, guess what's gonna happen? She's gonna get that grant. Yes, she is. And then uh we have the money man, he has finished the uh he's halfway through his ebook. He was supposed to jump on and tell us about his ebook. He's giving us a lot of props, but he's not giving us any FaceTime this morning. We feel some kind of way about that. Um, no, I appreciate the props. <laughs> um, then we also have Zapping Music. Zapping Music is also on as well. Then we have the lovely Veda, who, uh, Veda, you said you did something uh, a little earlier in this thread. I can't forget. Well, I can't remember what it is, but put it down there. Tell, tell us what you did. But she's doing a spoken word event in March. That is getting ready to be uh absolutely phenomenal. Then we have the wonderful Nikhil. She is on, been on Blab for 29 days. And then we have uh Rolando E. Berry, who's getting a second shout out. And he is the 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 magic money man. And uh he's getting ready to collaborate with the ERGJ. And y'all getting ready to put that magic money uh uh show together, which is gonna be I, I'm excited about that. I'm excited <laughs> to see that. Um and then we got Mr. Pat. Mr. Pat got a uh, he got bands on bands. Right there. What was that? <laughs> he he folded about a million dollars. Yeah, that's exactly what that was. I knew it. I know a million when I see it, man. I know a million when I see it. Uh, but we got Mr. Pat. Um, and he is uh he's got his show coming up on in March. Uh, you're doing a road show in March. Is that right? Yes, yes. All right, he's doing a uh, road show in March, and he is teaching technology uh, to business owners. So uh, again, just really excited about how this network is growing and how we're able to uh, how we're able to impact each other. So that's what this thing is about. It's not a me show; it's a we show, and we are the number one marketplace for growing people. So, hey man, hey man, hey, here's the deal, guys, man. Sometimes, hey, sometimes you just got to get off script, man. Yeah, you know what? Here's the that's script, it. but. Throw the script away, and we need to get with the people, and that's just what we do. That's improv, (laughs) right? That's improv, man. 
Let's improv. Let's show love because that's what this whole show is about, man. Like we don't have all the answers um, individually, but together, man, like we are the big brain together. We are the mastermind group together. Anything is possible. Like anything, like the, 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 the amount of talent, the amount of resources, the amount of time that we all have, we could leverage that to do so much stuff, man. Like this is a fortune 500 company right here, man, right here with what we have right now, fortune 500 company. What do we want to build? What product or service do we want to create? When do we want to get started? Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, too much juice. Take okay, too much juice. Take, too take much a juice. thought to another level, man. Take a thought to another level. So, Mr. Patrick, man, you got any last word for the people this morning, man? Um, finishing up in the book, uh, the last thing I think had to do with the, the one word strategy. So, the one word for the day is you're phenomenal. That's you're phenomenal. Absolutely. It. You're phenomenal. We're going to pick back up on uh, 8, 9, and 10 tomorrow. We'll finish that tomorrow. Um, I'm ERGJ, Certified Financial Educator. It's been plum pleasing time, as Mr. Bless Brown would say, man. It's been wonderful. Plum pleasing. <laughs> plum pleasing time. It's been, it's been absolutely <laughs> wonderful, uh, guys, to share your success. And we want to do this each and every day, man. So don't be shy. Hey, let us know, man. We want to chat. We want to be your biggest cheerleader, along with you being your biggest cheerleader. Right. We want to be your cheerleader as well. Mr. Beans, we want to sign us out, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look, have an, have an outstanding day. Hey, look, be moving towards the money every single day. Life is about the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. I've been uh I've been working with my new mentor, and uh man, he got me up all times of night. But what he is always saying is, is you got to be moving towards the money. Um, and so with that being said, look, know that you are wealthy, you're healthy, you're happy, and we are out. See you next hey, week. Hey, we'll see you guys tomorrow, man.